Hey guys, it's Cole here, and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial for you guys on how to record the screen of your Android device. Now, this is using an app called Xiao Screen Recorder. Uh, if you use iOS 7 or whatever, you've tried to find a screen recorder for iOS 7.1 and below, you or 8, you would know that uh, this is a screen recorder that also allows you to broadcast to, uh, you know, it's kind of like stream streaming service, it's like Twitch, uh, but it also has a couple functions like to record your screen. So, this will work on any Android device. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it works no root on Android 5.0 Lollipop. Uh, if you have Android KitKat or below, though, you must root your phone. And uh, the reason it doesn't require root on 5.0 Lollipop is because of a new feature they implemented in this Android update that allows you to cast your screen to things like your phone, or like your TV. Like, say you have a Chromecast, like I have a Chromecast. I can cast it to my TV screen. So it basically just casts your screen to the app itself. And that's how it captures the video. So, to get this, it's a free app. All you have to do is go to the Play Store and search Xiao. Should come up. As long as you search it right there, Xiao TV Screen Recorder Pro. It's a free app. You just uh, download it and run it. And yeah. It's pretty smooth. It's like 60 frames per second. It's unbelievable stuff, and I can't even edit this kind of stuff in so smooth a frame rate. So yeah, you can also broadcast. People can come watch you when you're streaming, and uh, other cool stuff like that. So it's a really intuitive uh, setup, really nice um, feature, great app. does require root on KitKat or below, but it's fantastic on uh, Lollipop. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and things like this. Please make sure you pay attention. I'm going to put this in the description for you guys as well, that it does not work at all unless you're on Lollipop. And do not send them tweets because they can't fix it in any way. It's just how Android works. It's an issue with Android and it has nothing to do with the app. So just keep that in mind. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if it helped you, don't forget to leave a like. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.